top 10 manhwa where the main character is an overpowered swordsman. We all know that there are many manhwa with their swords and they are the main character. Today, I'll be showing you guys 10 best sword wielding Mokwa characters in each manhwa series. These characters have 9 or more different skills and weapons, or maybe the ability to make knives out of their fingertips. Check out my top 10 manhwa where the main character is an overpowered sword wielding character. You all know what we are gonna say. Subscribe to the channel for 1 years of good manhwa. Starting off with our number 10, Carnivorous Hunter. This manhwa takes place in an apocalyptic future decimated by monsters. Main character starts off weak and character progression is nice and slow in this manhwa. So those people who want an OP main character who is not gonna like this. The overall story is quite good and the main character has a calm and collective personality. The art is also good but not top notch but still gets the job done. Overall, it's a really good manhwa with swordplay. Number 9. I am possessed by the sword god. Pretty solid so far from what I've read. Still a little hard to tell how the story is going to unfold but since the MC has some knowledge about the future of the world that he entered, I think it's pretty safe to say that he at least knows what he's doing. If you want some new manhwa with some badass MC that wields swords, then you can read this manhwa. Number 8. A fairy tale for the demon lord. The main character, the Nameless Knight, appears who is yet another knight trying to rescue the princess in the hopes of getting a name. What follows next is a story about the hero struggling to free his princess, which slowly pushes him over the edge towards the dark side. The story contains a lot of Norse mythology with some sci-fi elements. The setup of the story is confusing and I would love to explain what the deal is with the knight, Odin and the princess. But that will be some very big spoilers, so you might need to read the entire manga twice. The artwork is good and full color is always a plus for me. It has a very unique art style and I love the armor designs. Slowly, the art style seems to become more smooth which brings out those armors even better. Overall, it is a very dark but quite confusing story if you do not pay attention. Number 7. Starman Known simply as the devil to his enemies, Zhang Kilin dominated battle for 13 years as commander of the Red Dragon Cavalry. At the end of it all, he wants only one thing, to live an ordinary life. Upon leaving active duty, he has to notorious gold line road to purchase the Stormy Inn, which requires serious repair. Kilin assembles a ragtag crew to help him run the place, but with rival ins determined to sabotage him, Living an ordinary life may be more challenging than winning a war. Number 6. Past Lives of the Thunder God Our MC was the hero who brought down the heretic cult that drove the Mubim world to ruin. The protagonist was killed due to betrayal of the seven emperors because he was too strong and they didn't want him to be a hero. He was reborn as Big Kong, a crippled person who was in despair. It's only been 30 years since my last life. So, my enemies are still alive? This is his revenge and his final journey. The MC is overly cool and the art is lit. Damn those muscles. The story is quite short for now but I hope it keeps up with this quality. Moving on to our number 5, Star of the Overlord. The mighty crimson star of the supreme ruler has appeared. The child who receives the energy of this star would grow to become the supreme leader and also become the legendary star that will rule over the world. There can only be one supreme ruler. The intense aspirations and love that take place while fighting for that one position and numerous last minute schemes and betrayals. Who will become the owner of the supreme ruler star? The story of this manhwa is very good and the pacing of the plot is also quite good. The art is also marvelous. Give this a try if you want a really good Muri manhwa with a solid plot and awesome characters. Number 4. Sleeping Rancor The storyline, although based on an overused trope in manhwas, conveys a unique experience when read. Although the art is above normal standards, the character development is layered. 
emotion and motive are especially well expressed. To the readers, keep in mind that this is only the beginning and such many of you will feel dissatisfied. However, when looking at Sleeping Ranker's future potential, one can only feel excited. I recommend all of you reading this now to give Sleeping Ranker a try. Most of you will like it. Number 3. Records of the Swordsman Scholar the scholar Wen Yun enters the palace after passing the imperial examination. Though he soon comes to lament his poor and miserable life of having to deal with the crown prince hobbies, despite that, he doesn't give up and tries his best to learn martial arts. But Wen Yu suddenly picks up his brush to conquer the mural. The hidden story of the scholar who passed the imperial examination at the young age begins. Main character has a kind nature but he is also not a fool. Side characters are also written very well. Give this a try if you want some really good mural drama. Number 2. Chronicles of the Martial Guards Return This manhwa is really really good. The main character is overpowered from the start. His nature is also very likable. He never shows mercy to his enemies. The reason why I rate this manga a 9.5 out of 10 is because of his plot of an MC being overpowered as hell then getting caught and becoming frozen for thousands of years to come back then eventually the MC came back. The start is good but I do think that it's a bit boring just having a thousand year old MC coming back with nothing to do but overall it's not bad for now. The art is great and you don't need to worry about that. And finally number 1. Overpowered Sword the protagonist of a story is always decided from the start. No matter how hard the supporting role tries, they will just be a supporting role in the end. Then, a moment came where all of that changed. Leon, do you think you are qualified? The holy sword that was supposed to choose the hero of the oracle came to him. What? You are untalented, poor, and have no connections? Don't worry, the hero who can resolve anything with the holy sword is here. There was a period when I thought like that too. This is where Leon's story as the hero begins. Really great manhwa with nice story in future. MC is gonna be some badass swordsman that's for sure. Okay people, the above were all the best recommendations by We Love Anime. I hope that you will like at least one of them. Each manhwa is perfect in its own way. See you next time. Adios.